in the mid lane doesn't necessarily feel like a hard counterable champion, but uh, if you just lock in Ari Vi, you're probably going to be okay yeah, with uh, the outcome. I think I honestly would have preferred the Talia in this situation. Just Talia into Yearning to Lucian is so good at just checking them. Um, yeah, with true. Unravel Deer. So there is a lot of playmaking power with this combo. This combo is obviously very strong, but I also think you're going to have. You know, it's not the best into Maokai as well. You know, uh, a lot of responses from that pick to pin you down. Uh, but I still think it's a really solid draft for T+. Plus. I do think the top lane matchup isn't that fun. Yep. Um, but also, this this series could be telling. I think everyone expects Honolai Peaceful to get third to pick Quandor Freaks. But maybe if they absolutely destroy D+, plus here. Uh, <laughs> Like, well, you know, we could just take D plus and, and run it back. Um, I think you never do that. No, never. I don't think you do, but you've always got to consider the possibility. Yep, remember, like, I mean, KT chose T1, remember? Uh, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Crazy uh, things could happen. Uh, you know, you just know Conoco is going to be hearing yep. that and so mad about it yep. right now. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, uh, just because the, the power that Maokai CC is so powerful, and even against things like Delight's Bubble, it has a lot of value too. Yep, I would suggest that Kalani is going to buy the earliest possible Mikhail's. As now Delight is going to do a lot of damage to nope. Kalan. I'm just, uh, well, not happy with the outcome, but he's happy with getting just one Void uh, Grub and moving away. Ooh, Bubble is going to miss there, as now Viper is going to get snared by the Graviton. A lot of damage onto Kellen here, but he's still moving forward. Viper. If you do unbind the soul, uh, you can definitely just uh, always land those charms. As Lucid's coming on in here. Doran does have that Mega Nar coming up, but it's a really good avoidance of that wallop. And okay, Nature's Grasp comes down. CC to assist just to go through the CC. And there's first blood. Still, Zekka is going to rotate in. And I don't think this fight is over just yet. Still, he gets underneath the turret with Showmaker moving in. Looks like D Plus are going to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, for quite some time. Yeah, I mean, he did kind of fall off when we had seen him. Oh, yeah, there's a dash in from Viper. Gets slowed down here by the Glitter Lance as Tidal Wave coming on in as well. They get the knock up. There's the bubble onto the Lulu, who's going to flash Does yeah, and I mean, uh, in this trade. Uh, we see Zekka moving over already. He needs to be here yesterday if he wants to prevent this play. Well, uh, Nabar is not in a great position, and the CC is just chained to high heaven. Zekka moving on in now as Showmaker wants to land this charm, but Zekka is going to ult his way out. They do take. And now, just doing what they can, but that is going to be an Infernal Soul. Also a culling. A lot of damage on to both Aiming and Kellen here. No chance for Shomik to do anything but fix the farm. Yep. Multi gonna come on through. Spirit Rush is going to be the response here. Yep. So, not able to do anything, and so now the next fight is going to be dictated by Harmalife Esports. As now Peanut, he'll press the Nature's Grass button and now look for an opportunity to go in. Kellen is going to... The Kales himself. That is actually the right call here, as Lucid happily able to tank things up. Now Showmaker moving in on the flank angle. Cease and assist comes down. They found their target as Zekka is in trouble, but he's ulting. He is going to get himself out. And D-plus now have to work out who else they can kill. Peanut might be the target they opt in for, but he's just going to Bramble Smash Flash, and they're able to take down Kingen. Humble Beast was playing this out so incredibly well. Orbit Deception flies down. Moonlight Vigil is decent. But it is not quite good enough, and Showmaker looks for the backline. He finds Viper, who then dashes forward. It's aiming that's able to cut him down, but he dies himself. It's a double, though, in the end, as now Lucid going down low, and Doran getting some revenge here onto DK. The Nah does come through, and it's a triple. Just welcome back to the game, Doran. One team fight, you're 4 2 0, you know? Yeah. He just bounces back. That's how it works. You know, if there's there's like an agreement from both teams, we're going to be 5v5ing as, okay, Tidal Wave going to be avoided, and now the turret just goes down. Delight just booped over the wall, is now Viper by himself. He's going to get taken down oh! so incredibly low, but there's still a massive ulti from Zekka. The answer is still there for D, though, as Lucid just punches the Lucian. Like they've got so much control over this area, though. D-plus need to try and buy back some ground if they can find it. Doran, Snarbar is going to wear off, though, and so now this could be the time. This could be the moment for D-plus to try and find an angle. Gonna make it collecting some cinders as the Drake is going to get picked up here. And if Harmalife Esports don't like this, they can just back away, but it looks like they're not going to do so. A Showmaker taken down. That is going to be a huge cease and assist on to Viper, but the ulti into the backline is just as good. Both of the carries just immediately wiped out. Delight in trouble, but Kingen has no damage. He's not going to be able to get this one done. It's Doran able to lock down the last remaining kill here in the river. They'll grab themselves an Infernal Soul and Zekka. Yeah, I was going to say he's point and click CC. 100%. No one point. Uh, <laughs> so obviously we saw my focus was very much on Viper getting pinned down here by uh, 
Divai, but look a second, he catches. Not with the ult there, but the follow-up with the Q2 on both Aiming and Showmaker. Just explodes them, and yeah, you got Viper. You lost both your carries for it. And it must be so frustrating to be in the position of Lucid there, where you get the... Uh, and so Viper just very, very strong at this point in time. And if this and as you can see, oh, yeah, wow. uh, Kellen just has to flash as soon as Viper says oh, that he has. Yeah. Maybe not Kingen. <laughs> Broke a shield, at least, uh, but yeah. Uh, oh, Lucid, he might start. Yeah, he may. Cease and desist going to come through here as there is the knockup onto Showmaker. Wow. He misses the charm and just gets chopped up by Zekka. Towards it as well. It's really dangerous. Is Doran? Not sure about that. I don't know really what was uh, going it's on zoning there. Old, zoning ult, Yeah, definitely zoned. Did a bunch of zoning. As now, the ultimate going to come through here from Peanut as well. There's the Flash Twisted Advance. Really wants to take down Aiming. Not going to be able to do so just yet. Lucid, very tanky. He's able to take out Viper. And now Zekka, he's at full health. So he's an absolute monster. It doesn't matter that they've lost the Lucian because they still have... Lining up to take down these turrets. They're going to be able to take the first one as uh, Peanut. It's going to be difficult for him to be able to get out. His tidal wave just sails by majestically. It's a great charm to connect there as King in. Not quite as tanky as he otherwise could. Oh, wait, maybe he is. Never mind. He is. That's, that's a bit ridiculous that he has been targeted so much. As Showmaker wow. not able to find him. The sidestep just gorgeous as the tidal wave almost takes down Showmaker here. He makes it to the fountain. It's good bubble on the King in to stop that follow up. Aiming is still at full health though. Has decent guns for this one as well as into the back line goes Zekka. Doesn't find the Aphelios, but still able to cut down this Udia Peanut. Not a lot left in the tank though, as far as that health bar. So D plus, I think, might be able to keep this Nexus turret alive. Yeah. It's going to be so hard to contest test this, and to be honest, Hanalife Esports, as soon as they come out of the base, you can just fight them head on. This from Viper was so well played, that sidestep there. It's just Showmaker absurd, I don't even know high. how that missed. Yeah, I think Showmaker might be reviewing the VODs on that one. Yeah, no, um, I think so. It was maybe, almost a pause, I could yeah, imagine. Check Viper PC. Um, <laughs> just not normally. Uh, yeah, the GA having a massive amount of value from uh, uh, Zekka there, so at least they take that out, but still, you can see in the picture in picture, they're trying to set up and find a pick in the lead up for this Elder, but they are on a timer. Oh the my goodness, yeah. Again. This is, uh, you can see, knocking on the front door are these super creeps. There are so many of them just cascading up these lanes as King, and he's not going to be able to hold on to it by himself. Still, he's teleporting in. They're going for the flip as now Lucid wants to get over the wall. He's going to be able to do so, but there's another two-man ulti from Zacho who finds yet another angle. Aiming now having to deal with Doran. Will get stunned up, not into the wall. Thrown around like ragdolls, and D-plus, they went for the last ditch effort, but it is only Lucid left standing, and Viper gets his final revenge. That is going to be the Nexus turret falling down as well as Doran wants to get out of this game as quickly as possible. Look at these supers. And that is going to be that. They even take the Elder.